All right, today our lesson is, it's called, Don't Postpone Your Success. Uh, <laughs> you know, when we were looking at this topic, we thought about it for quite a bit, and we were saying, hmm, what about that? Well, you know, very often we'll set goals and have a vision for success, but then we don't take the proper steps to make it happen. So how do people postpone their success? And uh, of course, number one is many people postpone their success by being poor. Now, you know, you may say, now that sounds terrible. <laughs> no, no. Poor means passing over opportunities repeatedly. Now, think about that. Passing over opportunities repeatedly. So, you know, opportunity, the word opportune means really stand at the door. Port is door. Uh, uh, opportunities like standing at the door, open the door. And so when people postpone their success by not taking advantage of opportunities uh, that, you know, come right into their space, when they keep passing over opportunities, uh, that's like standing at the door to the bank and inside they're giving away hundred dollar bills and you just cannot go on in that door. Why is it that people postpone their success? Why is it they're afraid of uh, opportunity? Why is it they pass over opportunities repeatedly? We talked about this before. Uh, fear, you know, fear of failure. Many of us in, the, in our business have failed so many times that it's very easy to get gun shy. Okay? We literally fail our way to success. We learn the lessons of life so that we don't have to repeat them. We say anything that you do not go through, you will go through again. I'll say that again. Anything that you do not grow through, you will go through again. And so if you have a fear of failure, okay, and you don't overcome that fear by getting up and trying it again, as a child riding a bicycle, you have a fear of falling, a fear of, of getting hurt, a fear of skinning your knee. But if you don't overcome that fear, you will never ride a bicycle. Similarly in business, if you don't overcome, for example, the fear of rejection, then you will never be successful. If you don't overcome the fear of failure, you will never be successful. Another reason that people pass over opportunities repeatedly is, as we say, the fear of success. You know, the first four, the first three words we learn in life are no, stop, and don't. And then we learn shut up. So if that is the framework on which we have built our lives, then we can see how you get locked into the box of limitation of, of make, do, and never enough. You never really see yourself successful. Every call you've been on, every uh, motivational success book you read, it says, picture yourself. People normally can't accomplish anything they can't picture. So if you want to be a pro ten in our business, Picture yourself as a pro ten. Picture yourself walking across that stage. Picture yourself saying, you notice that when you're at the pro ten level, they give you a chair to sit down, and basically you can say whatever you want for as long as you want. Okay? And so picture yourself. Go over in your mind what you're going to say. Go over in, in your mind how you're going to dress, how you're going to walk out there, how you're going to shake the president's hand. If you can picture it, you can do it. The other reason people pass over opportunities repeatedly is the fear of change. You know, you get accustomed to whatever you accept in your life. There's a great experiment where they have a jar of fleas. And do you know that a flea can jump four to six feet? You know, you ever wonder how you have a, a dog has fleas and they get all over your house? They can jump four to six feet. If you put the fleas in a jar, a mason jar, and screw the top on, and you leave it there for a certain period of time, some people say 21 days, you leave it there and then you take the top off that jar, those fleas will not be able to jump out. They will jump just high enough to keep from experiencing the pain of hitting the top of that jar. 
and over a period of time you in life try just hard enough to not experience the fear of failure you try just hard enough to not experience the, the fear of rejection and so as a result you accept the situation you accept the job that you're in and you have a fear of changing that because whenever you tried before you experienced pain so the first way that we postpone our success is just by never getting off the dime by never stepping out and taking action the second way we postpone our success is by procrastination folks <laughs> procrastination is the thief of time procrastination is the thief of dreams procrastination can rob you of all your potential procrastination reminds me if your dreams were uh, sand on the beach and you pick up your dreams in your hand a big hand full of sand procrastination is standing there by the beach as the wind blows and the sand slowly slips between your fingers until there is none procrastination will kill you so those of us who have dreams who have dreams of success we must never procrastinate we must always do it now I'm going to our book the 12 universal laws of success and look for just a moment at what happens when you procrastinate how procrastination can just destroy your creativity how procrastination can keep everything good from coming into your life think about this why do people procrastinate why do you put off doing today what should have been done last week well let's look at that one of the reasons you procrastinate is once again that that fear of failure you know if you don't try you can't lose but also if you don't try you can't win so procrastination is probably the number one reason why your success has not come to you as quickly as you desired how do you overcome procrastination well let's look back at our lives some of the ways you overcome procrastination number one to realize that procrastination is one of the main causes of failure when you look back and you know in our lives we should be in a constant process of self-evaluation not to beat ourselves up but to grow ourselves out realize that procrastination look at what happens when you permit procrastination to operate in your life you waste time your duties go unperformed you miss opportunities passing over opportunities repeatedly you miss important engagements and your life slips away like grains of sand once you understand that the devastating effect of procrastination then do those things that will help you eliminate that from your life experience have a schedule and stick to it you know we always talk about writing our daily schedule our daily goals the night before we go to bed and then executing them the next day that when you have a schedule and stick to it that will help you avoid procrastination make a list of the things to do each day you know even your your daily activities your routine activities make a list of the things to do each day and start checking them off that will help you bring your success quicker make a commitment to be on time for all occasions if there's one thing that really undermines your success and postpones your success is tardiness and lack a and lack of preparation don't let anyone or anything keep you from doing what you have to do make realistic assessments of your time you know many times we procrastinate because we don't make realistic assessments of how long it takes to do things and so when it takes longer than we think we become frustrated and we quit 
And finally, <laughs> and finally, the way to overcome procrastination is ignore criticism and get started. Many times we procrastinate because we're afraid of what someone will say. I know that as an attorney, when I was getting into the water filter business, for two years I sat on the sidelines because I thought that people would think would not think that I was successful. They say, oh, here's a lawyer selling water filters. He must be the worst lawyer on earth if he's got to sell water filters to make a living. Okay. For two years I sat on the sidelines until I realized that it wasn't about making a living. It was about living my making. That once I opened my mind and did the, the water filter business, shall we say, that it opened up possibilities for me that were never there as a lawyer. I did what I love to do, which is teach and, and motivate and train. Okay? The income was unlimited and it did not just depend on my own skills. I was able to leverage my income by training and teaching more people and building a team to put the law of leverage in effect. And so, you postpone your success when you procrastinate doing the things, thinking the thoughts, doing the actions, creating the habits that support success. The third way that we postpone our success is lack of proper time management. Lack of proper time management. We postpone our success when we don't keep the main thing the main thing. We postpone our success when we spend dollar time on penny jobs. Whatever our goals may be in our business and in our life, we must break it down, break those goals down, break, uh, break them down into what are the things that make that goal a reality. In our business, for example, and in most marketing programs, your money comes from talking to as many people, showing the plan, whatever business you're in. How many times do you show the plan a day? How many times do you meet new people a day? How many times do the people that you train on your team show the plan a day? How many times do you use a, a third party uh, um, a tool, a video, an audio to show the plan a day? How many times do you tell your company story a day? That's the main thing in any business, be it network marketing or traditional marketing. How many times and what do you do to keep the main thing the main thing? So the question arises, that seems very simple. Okay? Why don't people do that? Well, people get involved with time wasters. Time wasters, things that make you spend dollar time on penny jobs. What are some of the time wasters to help postpone your success? One, crisis management. If you don't execute and plan your life and on a daily basis and you permit crisis to come in, if you don't pay your electric bill on time and the next day they're coming to turn your lights off, if you don't put gasoline in your car and then you run out of gas when you're on your way to the most important appointment, crisis management steals your time. Telephone interruptions. Uh, let me tell you something, folks. Time is your most valuable asset. Telephone interruptions and texting. If you notice now when you're talking to people, when you're doing a lecture or a seminar, when people are in training, you'll see them sitting back in their seat with their, their cell phone a little bit beneath the table so it's not obviously disrespectful, with them texting. Texting is no different from talking. How much can you hear when you're talking? Virtually nothing. Some folks call it multitasking. But that is just one of those illusions that keep you from realizing that you are truly wasting your time. It may seem like you're getting a lot of things done, but when you're texting and listening, you are failing to put your, your psychic powers, the power of focus, the power of attention, on whatever you're doing. 
another great time waster is lack of goals you notice if you don't write your goals each day the one thing about the day is it t it transpires so whether you have goals or not those 24 hours go by and so time wasters just not having goals so you don't know how to apply your time drop in visitors people who interrupt you yesterday I was closing out the month and a dear dear friend just happened to come by and rang the bell and I think that she was kind of disappointed when I said listen I can't talk to you now I'm in the middle of the two minute drill and we know what the two minute drill is when you're closing out the month you don't think about who you can prospect you think about who you can close out how do you want to put points on the board how do you want to put dollars in your account and I said I can't talk to you now give me a call tomorrow ta-ta bye-bye now I may have hurt their feelings I tried to say it as nicely as possible and they really had no right to just visit me without an appointment I'm not a I'm a very busy person so I had to focus on what I had to do to get what I had to do done and then finally another great time waster is the inability to say no you postpone your success by saying yes to things that waste your time they may seem very important generally when you are unable to say no it's because it's a result of somebody else's issue somebody else's crisis and the moment you buy into their crisis you know the story you jump off the bridge we can mask that lack of focus on you say well you know when people come to me I have to help them but think about this I have a friend who came seven o'clock to my house I need two hundred dollars they're turning off my gas at nine o'clock I got kids in the house I need I didn't have nothing the cash on me so can you come down to the cash machine and get the cash I'm really I'm desperate now wait a minute now you didn't pay your gas bill okay you knew the gas bill was due and now you're making it my crisis taking me off the path of what I have to do today it may seem hard sometimes but when your vision is key and your goal is high you have to protect your time and your efforts let's look at the parable of the sower so we can see the power and the importance of time in postponing your success you know the story uh, one person was given five talents okay? one person was given two talents and one person was given one talent so they were all given different things different talents but what was the one thing they all had in common they all had the same amount of time now that's a great story to see what happens how the universe rewards you for proper use of your time you know the one with five talents when the reckoning day came and the reckoning day is always the time when your actions intersect with results and so when the reckoning day came and uh, the creator said well what did you do he said I took those five talents and I made five more and the universe said good job take five extra ones go your way and the one who had two talents came and he says I took the two talents and I invested them I worked them and I made two more and the universe said good take two more go your way but the last person who had taken his talent and buried it in other words he did not spend any time developing his talent and in his mind he had good reason he says oh you're a, you're a tough master so let me not do things you, you're harsh so let me bury these things these talents so that when the reckoning day comes I can give it back to you just like you gave it to me without any multiplication and the universe the creator took the talents away from him so don't postpone your success by one okay take advantage of every opportunity that presents itself by two doing what must be done 
to get that which you desire and by doing it now. And then three, don't spend dollar time on penny jobs. Ask yourself each and every day, each and every moment of each and every day, what is the best use of my time right now when I consider my goals, my vision, and my purpose? And when you ask yourself that daily question, you will say, I kept the main thing, the main thing, and I did everything I had. I, I did everything I could with what I had to do it with to make my success come another step closer to the realization in my life. Folks, don't postpone your success. Do it now. Clarify what your goals are. Get busy on it. Never stop. And don't let anyone or anything pull you away from that which you are seeking because success belongs to you. And success is rushing to you as fast as you are rushing to it.